another video on my channel so today I am going to show you how to do hard gel extensions these are what they looked like after I was completed after finish filing before cuticle oil and before the design went on and then I also have a video showing you how to do this gorgeous foil nail art design to finish off your set of extensions so I'll leave a link in the description box to that video below so starting off with bare natural nails, my natural nails are slightly longer because I'm growing them so I'm going in with the gel bottle ink rubber base coat and then I'll be sculpting out my extensions with the nude gel pot in number 5 which is gorgeous peachy undertone nude and I'll be using my young nails gel brush, I absolutely love this for applying gel, it's fabulous. So I'm just showing you my natural nail here, there are some still little bits of gel left on my natural nails and I also have a habit of picking the skin around my nails so excuse the dryness around there but they are my natural nails ready to go. So these are the nail forms that I'll be using, these are actually only from Amazon, they're about £8 for a roll of 500 and they are amazing, I absolutely love these forms, they fit so snug under the free edge on most nail shapes, I absolutely love these, highly recommend, I'll leave a link down below to where you can find them. So this is how I prep my form before I pop it underneath my nail. So again, if I was doing this on a client's nails, I probably wouldn't have that much of a free edge, but because I'm growing my natural nails, they're slightly longer. It doesn't matter, it doesn't make a difference, but obviously you can see that I have a longer free edge. So I'm just checking from all angles, making sure I'm 100% happy that it's really snugly fit under there, there's no gaps, and then it's straight as well, just making sure it's not wonky. Securing the back tabs, and then I'm ready to go. So I've applied all of the forms and I'm now going in with the gel bottle rubber base coat. So this base coat you can soak off. I go in with two layers of this. So if I want to remove these hard gel extensions, because the gel pot isn't soak off, it's a file off, I like to have two thin layers of this underneath so I can file back to this clear layer and then just soak the rest off. This just helps to create less damage to the natural nail, less filing on the natural nail. Every little helps in my opinion. So taking a bead of that hard gel in number 5 from the gel bottle ink and I'm starting at the tip of the nail so I'm placing that bead right where my free edge is, butting it up to both sides of the nail, they are your stress areas on the sides of the nail, you need to make sure you've got enough product there, if you don't you'll have those breaks straight along that stress area, they are because you haven't built up enough strength in that area and your structure is off, so make sure you get product in those two corners and then I'm pulling that tickling it down the nail and bringing it to just under a size 4 of length so I'm showing you again on this nail just speeding it up a little bit applying that bead on pushing it up into those corners and then pulling that bead down moving from side to side so after that's done that is going to go into the lamp I cure flash cure each nail in between for 30 seconds if I was working on a client I would do two nails then flash cure for 30 seconds and then moving on to the next two so once they are all done after finish curing them all for 60 seconds I'm removing my forms and I just pinch underneath the form and pull down to release this is the way you want to do it this make sure you don't get any breaks in your nail tips or anything like that pinch pull down and then remove the tabs so I'm now going in with my second layer of gel so taking another bead and this time I'm going to work from the back of the nail forward so placing it down at that cuticle area and I'm just keeping it really nice and thin and almost painting that bead down the nail because we've already got product right at the end you don't need to create a lot of thickness there you need to work on just creating an even layer over the whole surface of the nail so I'm almost painting this layer on so I'm just showing you how thick it is so far showing you again another nail a little bit more quickly again placing at the cuticle area and then just painting it down the nail this also reduces heat spikes if you're finding that you're getting heat spikes with your clients or on yourself definitely try applying thinner layers so here I'm going in with my third and final layer 
So I've taken another bead and applied it again back at that cuticle area and this time instead of painting I'm moving my brush from side to side as you can hear, see now. And then when I get to about two thirds of the way down the nail I just paint that last little bit down because I don't need a lot of product right at the tip of the nail. Then I'm just checking I've got my apex in the correct place, my structure is on point, checking from all angles I hold my nail upside down for about 5 seconds which pulls that gel into a gorgeous apex and C curve and then I'm popping it in my lamp to flash cure for 30 seconds. Repeating that process again, this is again my third layer break those layers down, the less layers you do the less of a heat spike you'll get. Also you could go into the lamp for two seconds, bring it out for two seconds, pop it back in, that will cure the gel slower and then also resulting in less heat spikes. I'm just showing you here the thickness of the nail and what they look like before finish filing. So I'm now using some cleanser and just taking off that inhibition layer and I'm going into my filing routine. If I was doing this on a client, I would do it slightly differently. I would do side wall, side wall, free edge, cuticle area, and then the body of the nail. That is my normal filing routine. But when I'm doing my own nails, I tend to switch up a bit. I get a bit bored, so I just kind of file here, there, and everywhere. But again, it's kind of the same thing. I make sure I've got my side walls exactly where I want them. My free edge, so I've got my nice shape. And then I go into my cuticle area, down the body of the nail, and then I do dust off and have a look at that nail, checking. I'm just looking here down the barrel of the nail, and I can see either side it's a little bit bulky than I would like it. So I'm just taking my file and filing both sides. You do the same on each side. What you do to one, you then go and do to the other. This keeps a symmetrical, well-structured nail. So finishing off filing this nail... I'm just again checking the barrel of the nail, make sure I'm ha completely happy with it. And once I feel like I've got to where I want it to be, I just check with my other hand, making sure they're both even. Once all my nails are filed into shape, I go over with a manicure brush and give them a good scrub, getting all that dust out of the cuticle areas and the side walls, and then go over with some cleanser. And there they are, all done. So I'm just applying some Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Coat. This is a no wipe top coat and I'm just applying a layer of this to all the nails so you can see how gorgeous the colour of this gel pot is. You could honestly just leave it like this, that's how beautiful this nude colour is. And I'm just going to give you a close up of some of the shapes of the nails. So here's the thumb, excuse the dryness, I haven't applied cuticle oil yet. So you can see the structure and the shape of the nails there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and tutorial. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, Isabel May Nails. I will post loads of photos of these nails and other sets of nails that I do. Leave any questions and comments down below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!